Nautilus and Dark Horse, and all the just they've just been putting in so much work all weekend. Absolutely, and and just what a amazing reservoir and, and resource for information and mm -hmm. uh, and assistance throughout the entire community. It's yeah. been insane, um, even from uh, from what he's gathered from online and and from uh, and from just what's happening throughout the tournament. He's been uh, always correcting some misinformation here yep. and uh, helping people in the right direction here and there. And so and we, you know. Uh, it's, a, it's a thankless job that he's been uh, more than happy to, to take over, so uh, shout-outs to Capos. Yep. And, uh, you know, on top of that as well, Dark Horse. Dark Horse, who is, yeah. uh, Who is currently playing, and was absolutely just in the exact same position, and, uh, you know, immeasurable work made from all these, uh, from all the TOs and from all the people that are behind the scenes here, so. Great job from everybody, and it looks like they're hopping into it. Uh, one of them playing the shaded characters, you can actually, yeah, I think he's dark green Kirby and dark black DK, which is normally not wow. a thing. Yeah, this new uh, 19XX has some new features, including the shades of characters from teams. So Boom's going straight for the counter pick. He's, picks yeah, Kirby. he's going hard Kirby. He must have baited out the DK. He said DK dittos and then went Kirby. Classic Super Boom fan move. For a runoff back here, he's going for the shield break and gets it. What are we going to see here? Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, up wow. B to F smash. Straight to the point. Boom's having a great time. I would be too. <laughs> Dark Horse is, uh, well, he's enjoying himself too. But Boom uh, looks absolutely content. <laughs> oh, going for the back throw to the Kirby back there is so there. good against so many characters because it turns you around. And we saw DK there, he's like, what am I going to do to get back to Sage? You can't I grab Wedge. In, uh, I do believe in Kirby Dittos and perhaps some other matchups as well. Uh, Kirby can back throw into Cutter and it combos and kills. Really? Yeah, it's uh, a lot of jank that I believe that Boom is more than familiar with. And he had, now has a knocker punch for himself or has the, the powers of DK. The giant punch. I love Kirby with it. And Kirby with the um, with the neutral B turnarounds. Oh, yeah. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> turnaround at any point, that, yeah. charging the punch at the same time. You just like bear, turnaround, bear, turnaround, yeah. bear. That's actually crazy. I believe it's Amasawa movement is what it's referred to as. A certain player made it up. Good bear on the stage. Almost hard to commentate this seriously. Yeah. Oh, almost quite the kill. Dark Horse is really feeling his bones, and now he knows that shield is gone. Is it? Is it? Is it Giant Punch? It's up Giant Punch. Giant He's punch? just gonna up tilt to Giant <laughs> Punch, and uh, <laughs> Boom is loving it. I love that it makes like the strong noise here. Oh, uh, it's so satisfying. Kirby with the big arms. Kirby also known to be just. Poor DK. Oh no! This stuff just shouldn't Poor work there. sometimes. I look at some of the stuff that happens to DK, and I'm just like. Shouldn't be allowed. Yeah, it's a crime. Uh oh, he's going for the last hit of up air. That downer is gonna push him off. Great left grab. Also lucky it was the last hit. That might not be the same. Oh wow. Yeah. And oh, that's the shield break. The shield. He's gonna wind it up one more time. Wind it up. Is he gonna let it go? Oh. Misses the up smash. Oh, tries to up to. Oh, oh. and that's another shield break. Gets that. Oh. oh I want to see the hitbox on that. To donkey punch. Excellent job. And also, just so hilarious. How big do you think the hitbox is on Kirby's giant punch? Oh, big enough to knock DK that far. Yeah. I'll tell you that right now. Pretty much deleted him from the screen. It really did. Let's see what they're going next. I think Dark Horse knows that you know, game one, you gotta, you gotta play around a little bit. He's having a good time. He's, he's running the stream. He's not here to pretend that he's gonna be taking the whole tournament when he's, he's spread so thin on in every corner but of this tournament. Despite working so hard all weekend. Top 16. He's still here. He's still here. Incredible. He never left. <laughs> no, literally, he's been here for like 18 hours a day. For like three days. It's, he never yeah, leaves. No, actually. Yeah. <laughs> 24-hour venue is just because they need to, you know, give enough time for Dark Horse. Yeah. <laughs> that Falcon Kick was going to reach. Then there, edge guard. More nares. That'll do it. And although it's not quite as goofy as the last round, uh, seems like they're still having a good time. But uh, Boom is happy to just sit on ledge and ruin everyone's fun. By any means necessary. It's a Falcon Dead. You gotta play it very safe. There's no, uh, there's no qualms about that. Gets the throw there. Oh, tries to uh, take it for a quick ride to the depths. And Dark Horse showing so much respect to Boom at the ledge. Didn't even try to edge guard or anything. Just let him come back. <laughs> and so much disrespect after that. Back to taunt. Up tilt shield pressure to back throw. Good recovery. 
Doom always known for his tilts. Good forward tilt there. Hates the up smash. Doesn't do anything with it. Gets a falcon kick. Gets away from the the famous over 100% falcon kick. Up. And that's an example right there of how falcon dive at low percent is kind of negative and can put falcon in a worse spot. So some players will take it on purpose. I don't know what Boom did there, but he was able to punish even though he did get hugged by the Falcon dive. Absolutely. And that's that's true for a lot of low percents. Yeah. Only really becomes good at uh, kind of mid percent. Good trade. So many Falcon kicks this game. All right. Well, now they're just trying to prove a point. Yeah. They can hear me. Up for the back throw. Not going to get anything off a of forward throw, though. Ooh. Not crazy. sure what he was going for there. And the optimal forward throw to reverse up air. I think he could have actually gotten chonk cancel up air, up B. Perhaps. Or do we call that the Lodo? Where there's not enough space to get the dash. You can Wait, some up smash. There. Oh, a great hitbox up there. Full combo to death. That'll be up 2 0 for uh, Super Ring Band. I forgot it was best of five. I was like, wait, is this game three? <laughs> Let's see what they'll do next. Puff, maybe? It's going light Black Falcon. Yep. Gray, gray Falcon. I guess. Yeah, Puff. Let's see what he does here. Does light uh, special color <laughs> blue yeah. uh, sickly zombie Puff, I guess. It's just wow, so this is hard to look at. It's definitely hard to look at. They blend in perfectly with he the clouds. He should just uh, sky camp. And, yeah, yeah, there you go. He's invisible. Well, if you sky camp, then you're in the the um, you're in the trees. Oh, that's true, true. Maybe we go off stage and just tear right in. Oh, okay. and the rest. And Dark Horse takes the first dog. And with the power of the light inside him. Julie Puff is awake, ready to fight. And Falcon with the standard. Boom says, you're not going to go up a stock. Stop, stop. And Boom definitely being really good at utilizing the forward air and back air. Of, uh, Another down air. Keeping Puff away. Yeah. And baits out an aerial to kind of make him kill himself there. Can't press a button at the ledge like that. Definitely just wait for it. Boom with the call out with the reverse upper there. Tries to call him again. Downer to downer, the double dip. Dark Horse has one stock left. Let's see what he can make of it. Oh, Boom won the neutral there, but then lost it. More up tilts. Good DI by Boom. Definitely super up DI. Getting hit with weak hits almost entirely from that. And there catches him. Finds the grab, puts Falcon in a bad spot. The down smash, such a huge hitbox. Boom, so good, fades away. Waits out the entirety of the down smash and then makes it back on stage where he's going to try to end this match. Oh, and then Nair will beat the downer, but he downers right off the ground immediately. Yep. And that F smash will take it. Julie Puff, not many options there, so Falcon's forward smash covering so much space will just 